I was like, doctor, I don't know. I'm just sick. Doctor, I don't know. <laughs> hi guys and welcome back to my channel this is the second video and before i start i just want to say thank you to everyone who watched my first official youtube video and everyone who follow who why do i keep saying follow who subscribed and liked gave me the thumbs up thank you guys i'm sure you've already seen the caption which says being a girl in engineering the lies they tell you. They tell you a whole lot of lies and that is what we'll be discussing today. So sit tight. I have lived the girl in engineering life. I did engineering in my undergrad. So I spent five years in engineering school as an undergraduate. And now I'm also the girl in engineering, but more like the woman in engineering, right? Okay, so. <laughs> All right, I'm still living the woman, a girl, whatever, engineer, in engineering life because I'm currently a PhD student in chemical engineering. So I'm still living the life. Now, I'm going to be telling you about the lies they tell you for girls in engineering. The number one lie they tell you is that if you are a girl in engineering, you have to be a tomboy or you're going to be a tomboy. That is not true, but I would like to acknowledge that in engineering, you'll find two types of girls. The ones who are the tomboys, the ones that don't really care about girly stuff, like to move with the guys. And then you find the feminine girls in engineering. Now, the problem here is that for the girls that choose to be feminine, the makeup, hair, dress, all girly girly type, People just automatically assume that they are not smart or that they are not serious students. And I, yeah, I happen to fall into that category of the feminine girls. Because before I got into school, I already heard the story of once you become an engineering girl, you're going to be a tomboy, you're not going to have time to take care of yourself. So I wanted to prove that wrong. I really had that in mind. I was like, nah, when I go to school, I'm not gonna be a tomboy, but I'm not gonna like not have time to take care of myself. So when I got into school, I made up time to like make my hair, do my makeup and try to look good. And because of that, people just assumed that I wasn't a serious student. Yeah, I think I was in my second year when um, I won an award as the best female engineering student. And the girl that was in charge of like going through the results and picking out the the best and all of that and contacting the person, when she met me, she was like, wow, that she was shocked when she saw my name as the best female engineering student. Like, why girl? Why? Just because of the way I dress or because of the way I look? The way I dress has nothing to do with. It doesn't. So... That is the first life. Being a tomboy as a girl in engineering is, it has to do with time management. You have to decide to um, maybe create time, try to create time to take care of yourself as a girl. So that is the number one um, lie. At this point, I would like to say, if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel or if you're new, or if this is the first time you're watching me, please go ahead and click the subscribe button down there. Yeah, the red button with the white that says subscribe. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and click the subscribe button to subscribe, um, like, give me the thumbs up, Come, drop a comment just go ahead and do all of that good stuff you know all of that good stuff just do it go ahead do it all right let's continue <laughs> the number two lie this one this one is this one is hot okay <laughs> the number two lie is that engineering is too much for girls that the pressure is too much girls cannot handle it so it's made for boys i will not deny the fact that engineering is tough and it comes with a whole lot of pressure but let me tell you something if you can stand the pain of childbirth why can't you stand the pressure of engineering 
Ah, uh, I don't know if that's a good comparison, but whatever. I feel like it, the pressure a girl can stand the pressure if you want to stand the pressure. I remember times I cried. Let me tell a story. I'm digressing again. You guys just have to get used to me going from the main point to telling a story. Yeah, just all right. So I remember one time I was in my first year, you know, first year just getting into an engineering department, the whole pressure, the whole courses they throw at you. It was so much. One day I just came back to my hostel, my dorm, for those of you that call it dorm, and I started crying that I was sick. I was like, I'm sick. I need to go to the hospital. I need to see the doctor. And my roommate was like, Jane, what is wrong with you? I said, I am sick. I need to go to the doctor. And I remember I had a, a roommate who was in her third year then. What she did was, she said, all right, Jane, come, let's talk. She sat down, I sat down. And she was like, let's assume you're in the hospital right now and she is a doctor and I'm, i came to see her all right she asked me jane what is wrong with you i was like doctor i don't know i'm just sick doctor i don't know <laughs> and my roommates they said like they said jane you're not sick you're just stressed out you know what you're going to go shower eat good food and try to sleep no studying tonight because i used to study every night I used to study every night, so they were like, tonight you're not going to study, you're going to sleep, and till tomorrow you'll be fine. And actually that helped me. I think that has been what I do even up to now. Whenever I get so stressed out, I just, whenever I begin to feel sick, I know that I'm not actually sick most times. I'm not sick, I'm just stressed out. So I try to like eat good food and get some sleep. When I wake up, I usually feel fine. So. The number two I'd like to tell you is that the pressure of engineering is so much that you cannot handle it as a girl. And this lie is what makes some of the girls to just give up. And you see girls begging guys to just give them their homework to copy, begging guys to let them copy from them during exams and stuff. But I think it is a personal decision. If you want to, you can do it engineering comes with a whole lot of pressure yes but if you want to deal with it it has nothing to do with whether you're a guy or you are a girl it just depends on you and your decision I remember when i was um writing the entrance exam to go into college and i said i was talking with the guy next to me and he was like why are you here i'm like what what do you mean i was like why do you want to stress yourself doing this i was like why shouldn't i and he's like you cannot do it i'm like because i'm a girl and i did it so do not believe the lie that you cannot study engineering you cannot become a software engineer a chemical engineer a mechanical engineer because the pressure is too much girl you can handle the pressure and i'm not talking to the girls though but you can handle the pressure all right cool the third lie that they tell you is that as a girl in engineering that you cannot do the practical aspect of engineering like why why i mean it doesn't make sense why can't you do the practical aspect so this is a very big lie that as a girl in engineering you cannot do the practical aspect of engineering that you can only do the theoretical part and you'll be able to pass exams but you can't do the practical this is a very big lie. I know girls in engineering, women in engineering, they are doing amazingly well. So that is a very big lie. I also remember when I was in college, I did chemical engineering. So in chemical engineering, we deal with reactors. Reactors are like the simplest way to define it. Are like, um, like a container that you put in your reactants and then they react and you get your product. So I remember one time, this guy, this guy said to me, he said, Jane, why are you suffering yourself doing this? Because the only reactor you ever get to use is the cooking pot in your husband's kitchen. I'm like, what? It doesn't even make sense that people would think that way. So as a girl in engineering, 
you can do anything that you want to do you can do any practical most times girls even tend to do better that's for the girls that don't give up that's for the girls that don't believe the lie that they cannot do it if you actually have it in your mind that you can do it there is nothing that you cannot do after I, a whole lot of stuff was said to me when i started school as an engineering student but after the first year i did so well i had in my country the gpa was it's usually 5.0 not 4.0 like in the united states so i had like um a 4.4 something 4.42 gpa and a guy said a classmate of mine he said ah don't worry jen got that because uh, first year is still introductory stuff don't worry when we get to the real engineering she'll not be able to do it if you watch this video, I remember the guy that said that. If you watch this video, just know that I have that. I knew you said that. <laughs> All right. That's, that was what he said. But I did it. I kept on... That um, GPA was even low compared to what I graduated with. So it has nothing to do with you being a girl or you being a guy. That is a thought lie they tell you. Now, the fourth lie they tell you is this. That you should transfer to science courses because especially in the second and the third year engineering classes get so intense because at this point you go into the let me use the word of real engineering so it gets really intense and you hear people be like girl you cannot do this you can just transfer to a science department go to chemistry biology oh girls are good in biology you can't do that that is a very big lie. You don't need to transfer a girl unless you do not have a passion for engineering. But if you want to do it, you don't need to transfer. You can do it. You don't need to transfer. Just go tell yourself that I can do this. I can withstand this pressure. I can go through this process. I can do this and I will come out of it successful. Remember, you're not the only person doing it. A lot of people have done it. I, when I was in school, there were some courses that were so, so, so difficult. So, so difficult. But I kept on telling myself, Jane, you can do this. People have done it. Girls have done it and they graduated. You can do this. And I did it. And I graduated the third, um, not third, I think second or third best in my department. Yeah, a girl in engineering. So do not let anyone lie to you that you should transfer from engineering to a science course to a biology course because you're a girl. No. The fifth lie that they tell you, this one you get to hear this probably before you even um, go into college to study engineering. They tell you that engineering is not for girls and that engineering is for guys. And they try to give you the statistics that when you go to mechanical engineering, probably out of 50 students, you find only two girls. Um, if you go to, um, um, say, chemical engineering, that's where you find lots of girls, but you still cannot be compared to the guys. This is true. I mean, the statistics is true, but that is not a reason why you shouldn't go into engineering. A girl can do whatever a girl wants to do. And a girl should do whatever a girl wants to do. I did it. And look at me. I did it. I did it. And I'm still doing it. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's easy. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's just a fun ride. Nope. It's not a fun ride. But I'm sitting here right now telling you. And I will tell you the same thing tomorrow. And I'll tell you the same thing in the nearest future. And in the later future, I'll tell you the same thing that... A girl can do engineering, a girl should do engineering, and a girl should, well, can do engineering. <laughs> so, do not believe the lies that they tell you that um, you can do engineering. Alright, um, those were the five lies that they tell you or they tell you about girls in engineering. Um, of course, there are a whole lot of other stuff. But I had to reduce it to five just because of time. I thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. If you've not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and give me the like. If you like this video, I hope you like the video. I'll see you guys in my next video.
video. Bye!